All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are working on this 2007 Jeep Compass. We're changing out the purge valves um, to the fuel system. So um, the quickest way I figured to get these things out was actually to take the lines and both, both the um, purge solenoid out um, so that you can get the connections off easily in conjunction with um, be pulling. Also use, you know, a plastic um, door trim removal tool to kind of pry it away from the um, cylinder without damaging it. Um, this is the old one. This is the new one. Everything's already connected. Um, so you have two lines coming off of it that go back into the vehicle. That's one line right there. And that's another line right there. And the way the fitness is situated, you know, it's only going to fit on one way. So that's how you um, judge which one goes where. Um, so pretty much in order to get to the solenoid, um, you have to remove the air cleaner. This is one portion of the air cleaner. Um, that's the other portion of the air cleaner. Um, situated right here fits those um little rubber boots um there are plastic fittings on the base of the air cleaner that um situated down in there um this is the top to it the other part i just showed you was the part that feeds to the front of the vehicle to suck the air in um pretty much you just loosen that screw I took off the um, connection as well. So I thought that this whole thing would come out, but it found it easier to just take the whole air cleaner out. Um, so remove the air cleaner, nonetheless. And the purge solenoid sits right there inside of, let's see, where you at? Um, where you go? Oh, right there. So that little clamp. The little bracket right there slides right onto it. So what you do once you um, get down here, you simply just this clamp right here, just this connection right here. You simply push it out. It allows you to pull um, the harness from the person loop, and then you would. Pull that purse of the off that metal bracket. It has a little clamp release that you would push and pull out. And like I said, I um, took it from the fittings and pulled the whole solenoid out with the lines connected, pulled it off, and then reinstalled it to the new one. Um, installation is just the opposite of removal. Um, so it's a fairly easy job. The only reason I'm making this because I was out there looking for trying to figure out the location of the person solenoid, and there were no videos out there on it. Um, I did find some videos for the Jeep um, Liberty, and their person solenoid is right up by the battery. So um, how you will find your um, purse solenoid? It simply follow the fuel lines. You follow those um, fuel lines, um, you'll eventually find out where it's at. So all I simply did was follow the um, where the lines were connected into, and it was um, fairly easy to find. It was right there in plain day. You know, on this Jeep Compass, the engine bay is really open. You could pretty much access anything within this engine. You know, fairly easy. Um, well, that's all I have for you at this time. You know, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you do. However you do, you know, just make sure you do. Um, again, just want to put this out there for the community. Help this, hope hope this helps you with your project. Um, sorry, one day I'll get it together with my lighting and, you know, the whole production and all that. But for now, I figure, you know, just getting the information out there is good, you know. Um, most people don't even need to see it. They just need to hear what to do, where to do, how to go to it. 
and that sort of thing. So hope this helps someone out. Um, again, I'll talk to you guys another time. You know, another project. Peace.